Hello everyone, Nika here with your Daily Neuro Nugget. I hope you're ready to get started today. No time for tea, so good old fashioned water. And by the way, thank you for giving me all those thumbs up for that backdrop. I'm still waiting for the stand to arrive, so I'm hoping that the tape will hold up through the filming. And if it doesn't, we'll just keep going because we, we need to cover this very important information. By the way, this is a 4chan theory, aka we are speculating or we are reading other people's speculation as usual, and that is okay. We are allowed to speculate in America. So please carry on, carry on. Now, this post, we are not sure if it is authentic or not, but it was allegedly posted by Cara Denise, and I'm sure all of you know who that is. This is what she mentioned in this post, allegedly. Ethan got into a bit of a scuffle with Loach, but Xana broke it up. No big deal. Um, yeah, I know what happened because she happened to talk to her father that night when they left the party. By the way, if you have not yet watched my videos on the Davids, you have to go watch it like right now. Pause this video and go watch it because you'll understand where I'm coming from. If you know about the Davids, we have a different perspective on Sigma Chi and why there may be potentially motive there. Now, this theory, this 4chan theory is basically saying that people in Moscow knew this was going to happen. This was planned and this involved the Sigma Chi house. What do you guys think? Do you think young students would be capable of such atrocities? And just to remind you, there have been horrible things that have happened at these fraternities. We know the story of Joseph, who was 18, who froze under a bridge with a highly concerning blood alcohol level of 0 0.30. Yeah, dangerous. And then there's a story of Hudson, and then there's a story of Hannah. Along many others, there's been falls from second floors and all kinds of craziness that happens in fraternities, this fraternity specifically. Now, did Maddie and Kaylee potentially see too much of an argument? And this is why they were maybe trying to call Jack for assistance. This is part of that 4chan theory. Personally, I don't think this was it, especially if the Sigma Chi was involved. Let me tell you why. Um, we must question though, the scene, in my opinion, from what we can see at least on the outside, it seems that it was cleaned too quickly. We read the legal documents and we see that there is a specific shoe print and they don't really mention too much else. Of course, there could be more and maybe they just didn't have time because Moscow PD seems to not have time for a lot of important things. But you would think that they would have mentioned more footprints if they would have been in the home. So to me, that is an indication that somebody likely cleaned things up. Now, to remind you, going back to when the crime first took place forever and ever and ever ago. We can recall that law enforcement focused a lot on Ethan and Zana's timeline. Why was that? Why did they not really pay attention to Maddie and Kaylee's timeline? I just think it's time to Quit handling these fraternity brothers with kid gloves because they have gone AWOL, okay? And I'm not sure how they were interrogated, but they were cleared extremely quickly. It is my opinion that they should be hauled one by one, that they should be interrogated in a cold room with a hard chair just as I'm sure Mr. Koberger was interrogated. And let me know down in the comments, do you think that these fraternity members actually got physicals? Do you think they consented to a physical? Because it seems that they just kind of disappeared. Some left the country allegedly, and they seem to delete their post 
they seem to have deleted a lot of their social media accounts. So it does make one wonder. Now, this Sigma Chi involvement theory could make sense because we understand that allegedly there was no forced entry. Now, that would signify that either the girls just left the doors wide open or it was somebody who had been there before. And we know that a lot of the fraternity members were there quite often. We see them in several videos, even when we see Officer Rosie talking to Kaylee, what do we see? We see young men in the house, fraternity members. Now, it seemed very strange to me from the beginning that no one wanted to talk about the altercation that had happened at the Sigma Chi party. Why? Why not talk about that? And I've also talked to some of my friends who, some of them work at universities, some work at colleges, and they mentioned that most problems encountered were at fraternity houses. So the fact that so many issues come from fraternity houses and then law enforcement doesn't want to touch or talk about the altercation that happened at Sigma Chi just gives me chills. It raises red flags immediately. Why wouldn't you talk about that? And again, maybe they were investigating that in the background, but the fact that they don't bring it up is kind of weird. Do you think it's kind of weird? Now, again, we, we know that at this party, there were two students, right? Right before the crime. Zana and Ethan, they were at the frat party. There's an altercation right before the crime. And this is never talked about. It's just bizarre to me. Now, I'm hopping all over the place because my brain works that way, ADD. But something that tells me that potentially Sigma Chi could have been involved is that I have yet to see any blood trails outside of the house. And to me, that might be pointing to somebody having time to shower and clean themselves. So was it an inside job of Sigma Chi? We also know that someone who was in the house, Dylan allegedly, called the fraternity before she called anyone else. Why? One could speculate that it was to maybe finish cleaning up? We don't know. Maybe it was to get help. We don't know. Again, all speculation, but it does make one wonder because I would like to think that if I were in that situation, that I would have called 911. Not my buddies at the university. Do you find that strange? Now, I know that most people disregard the four chan post but is it possible that it could be correct when you scroll through those 4chan post it was at the time weird detailed descriptive but now going back it gives me chills they happened to mention the location of xana and ethan's bodies one blocking the door, which turned out to be accurate. And they also stated that the crime took 19 minutes, including the walk. Okay, that is detailed. That is descriptive. This is right after the crime took place. And when you look at the Banfield stop that started at 2.53 a.m. and the figures ran by at 3.12 a.m., that's 19 minutes. So again, at the time when these 4chan posts were first out there, we didn't think anything of it, but now going back, it's 
too detailed. Who wrote those comments? Who is behind those comments? Because I think that they likely know something. And that Banfield stop, we see figures in the background running. Is it possible that those figures committed the crime? Were they Sigma Chi? And just to refresh your memory, in that Banfield stop, if you've yet to notice, what do we see? I believe it was Officer Rosie. He's, you know, stopping these, these young men. He's questioning them. But at a very convenient spot, he happens to blind his body cam. And maybe I'm reading too much into this, but again, we are allowed to speculate. So, was it intentional? Did this officer know what was taking place? Did he just decide to block his body cam at the right time? It's too coordinated in my opinion. Again, that's my opinion, that's my speculation, but it is very strange that when we look at the timing of the 19 minute crime, and it mentions the, the location of the bodies, how they were found. It's creepy because now we know all that was accurate. Timestamps and everything. And maybe the officer at the Banfield stop had no idea. Maybe he was completely clueless. But there are figures in the background running, meaning what? Meaning that the current timeline that Ellie is giving us is likely wrong. I've always had a feeling that the crimes were committed earlier. One shoe print, highly unlikely in such a horrible crime. It's just all too strange. And this can go in several directions. We can speculate that it was Sigma, Sigma Chi or we can speculate that it was Sigma Chi working with officers. We don't know. But still, 4chan, easy to dismiss. But go back if you're able to read all of those comments I can't really go into detail in a lot of those posts because they're quite gruesome and we know how the YouTube is. So do you think it's weird that Sigma Chi had all their social media deleted? Pictures deleted from 2018 to now to when the crime was committed? That's five years. I think it's weird. I find it strange. If there was nothing to hide, why delete that stuff? I can see if you're deleting pictures of a victim in an effort to maybe uh, respect them, but even then, it'd be more respectful, in my opinion, to keep those pictures up because you're commemorating them. But everything was deleted. All those pictures of all these students holding K-bars disappeared. Just like that. It's just really strange. So, I have to get going because life goes on. And some people have mentioned why I don't really cover the parents too heavily. I just think that if I were a parent and this had happened to one of my children, I would likely still be grieving. 
So that's why I don't talk a lot about the parents. I cannot imagine losing a beautiful young child with their future ahead of them. So that's why I don't go into decoding Steve, for example, or, or too much about Kara or whoever else, because I think that people are allowed to grieve however they want, even if that seems really strange, because some parents have acted a little bit strange, but who are we to judge? Until you're in those shoes, I think it's just, we just need to give them that space. So you guys have a wonderful night. Let me know, do you think Sigma Chi could have been involved? And before I go, a reminder, again, I'm not sure how accurate this is. It was on a 4chan post as well. Allegedly, how to get away with murder had been typed into Google. So much so that it actually, you know, the trend spiked. To me, in my personal opinion, that is an indication that likely several people were involved and not just one lonesome nerdy guy who is getting a PhD. So let me know, do you think Sigma Chi could have been involved? We know the parents of a lot of these fraternity members are financially very well off. We know that some of them come from very powerful families. So is it possible that they are being protected for whatever reason? Let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and Yes, I should drink more water. I'm going to continue to wear this FBI hat because some people ask me if I'm FBI and I guess, I guess I look like a real agent. I think we should get some of these for uh, Moscow, Moscow BE.